If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mine. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raises up when you. Good morning, V Chain family. It's Satoshi Boomin coming at you with another video. Guys, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell. We got these videos every single day, V-Chain and Cardano. You don't want to miss it. Got my hot tea and honey lot loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. Talking about V-Chain today, guys. Hit that like button again for me. V-Chain Foundation posts. V-Chain stakeholders have spoken. The all-stakeholder vote. To implement the first phase of Proof of Authority 2.0 on the VeChain Thor mainnet has ended with an overwhelming majority of 737 voting. Yes, thank you for taking part. The mainnet will be upgraded by the end of October, so phase one of the v of Proof of Authority 2.0 has now been completed. Um, <clears throat> this is pretty awesome, guys. This is bullish news. And we can't wait to see how this will affect price in the future. Right now, as I am making this video, uh, the market is down. The market as a whole is down. Uh, we'll take a look at that at the end of the uh, video, towards the end of the video here. But Proof of Authority 2.0 is coming out, guys. It's going to lead to, again, fee delegation for decentralized applications, cheaper transactions, cheaper mainnet transactions more security um, and a, a bump to the uh, the speed of the mainnet as well um, not so much for us the private users but more for the enterprise users um, the upgrade will should be taking place at the end of October and um, yeah this is exciting we've been waiting for this for a very long time I think they announced last year <laughs> Proof of Authority 2.0. We're finally getting Phase One done. Congratulations to all the hodlers out there. You've uh, been hodling for a long time, and I know the sentiment in the crypto market, especially in the V Chain ecosystem, has been down. A couple of quote-unquote lackluster. I wouldn't call them lackluster, but a lot of people think that their lackluster announcements, along with you know sideways movement, has a lot of people down. It has a lot of people antsy. But again, we got that wood chop mentality just coming here every day, doing the hard stuff, doing the boring stuff, whatever you want to call it, to build the best blockchain platform out there. Congratulations to VeChain Chain Foundation. Keep working hard. Keep staying focused. Don't listen to impatient people. Let's keep our blinders on. And uh, let's usher in mass adoption through enterprise. All right, guys. Jason Rockwood posts. Enterprises are by, necessi by necessity risk averse. They will never implement something big without first implementing something small. Okay, he's referencing the DHL partnership with the NFTs. Again, as I mentioned in my video yesterday, we don't know where this is going to go, guys. We don't know what they have planned in the future. You know, they're just dipping their toes in here. And hopefully we can see something grow. Uh, bigger, badder than we could have ever imagined. I mean, who would have thought that, you know, JPEGs would be selling for millions and millions of dollars? Nobody. We need to we need to remain even keeled even when, you know, the hype isn't there, okay? Um, I will tell you one thing, though. If we were sitting at 25 cents and they made that same announcement, people's reaction would be completely different all right they'll be all for it they'll be getting high praise from even ogs in the ecosystem but since we have a stagnant price for the past i want to say six months you know news like this doesn't really move the needle but again when you really think about the long-term implications of this stuff and not so much focus on surface level price now type stuff uh, you'll start to put things in perspective so 
Um, I'm excited for this DHL partnership. We're finally in the door with DHL. And uh, I can't wait to see where the project goes from here. Got Isa right here. Please consider giving him a follow V chain and agriculture chain using blockchain to build an agricultural credit chain and promoting information transparency is an important method to promote the transformation of the entire agricultural industry chain. Pretty awesome, guys. Taking a look here, blockchain effectively creates low cost agricultural credit chain similar to other culture consumer industries agriculture needs a digital transformation it also needs to create a data led platform to meet the personalized needs of future customers using blockchain to build an agricultural credit chain and promoting information transparency and sharing is an important method to promote the transformation and upgrading of the entire agricultural industry chain in the royal rural revitalization strategy this is a trench that must be crossed. And I would agree. Right now, our traditional farming methods are becoming outdated and overstressed, okay? I read somewhere that we're actually running out of topsoil. Like literally, the soil that we use to grow all of our fruits and vegetables, we're running out of it. They say that we're gonna be running out of topsoil in the next 60 years, okay? So we need to get agriculture we need to get the way we farm animals and the way we farm our fruits and vegetables streamlined transparent and sustainable one big thing i see in the future that blockchain can help with is vertical farming okay and that's when instead of building farms out wide we build them tall okay and we use special mechanisms in order to get them nutrients in a more sustainable way and blockchain technology could definitely help that. Um, let's take a look. Uh, they're, they're lower here in the article, it says uh, they're talking about the traceability platform with Walmart of China. They say, of course, this platform is not limited to trace agricultural products. Based on this platform, consumers can, can obtain product traceability information and Walmart of China can manage the quality and qualifications of its suppliers. It's cost controllable as a company that's deeply engaged in enterprise blockchain applications. VChain hopes to apply blockchain as a trust machine, okay? Minimizing the threshold for enterprises to use blockchain technology. Again, going from farm to table and uh, agriculture is a great way to uh, expand that. So congratulations, and we're moving on. And lastly, just remember, <laughs> this is from VChain Insider. Great post here. BMW, DHL, and VChain. A quote by Sonny Liu says, everything is connected or to be connected. The world's biggest enterprise blockchain ecosystem is here. Are you ready? I am. And again, this is a long-term uh, investment here, guys. This is not about hype. This is about literally interconnecting the enterprises together, getting all the data we could possibly get. Data is the new oil, guys. We say that here on the show each and every day. And it's a race to see who can store the most and who can interpret the most data. And those companies will be at the forefront. So I know you guys are disappointed in the, in the announcement, but... Let's keep the faith. You know, VChain has came through in the clutch time and time again, and I don't doubt their abilities to do so. We're taking a long-term outlook on this, and uh, I think things are gonna get better, guys. All right, 889 days to the next Bitcoin block having. And taking a look at the markets, uh, they're moving sideways here. I was expecting Bitcoin to move up a little bit higher but it's kind of just stuck here at the $62 62,000 range which is okay we should start to see altcoins start to move up soon though bitcoin has been stuck in this range for a while now so uh, typically whales take profits and then 
push them into altcoins. Is there anything pumping like crazy yet? No. Things are still kind of moving a little bit sideways. Shiba Inu's up a little bit though. Uh, just got to be patient, guys. I mean, <laughs> uh, I know it doesn't seem like much, but again, the model is suddenly, wait, gradually, then suddenly. Bitcoin or any crypto can move up extremely fast, and that's why we're hodling. All right, guys. Well, not too much news in the V Chain ecosystem today, but duty calls. I love you guys so much. Don't let your memes be dreams. I will talk to you soon with the Cardano updates. Have a great day.